Hi everyone, Magic Flower Nerd here. Today we're going to be looking at some really cool and satisfying YouTube videos and some TikToks on some really cool art techniques. Um, I found some really cool ones, I have to share them with you because they are super cool. So let's get watching! I don't know about you, but I am definitely gonna have to try that acrylic process. I think definitely a massive canvas, hundreds of acrylic bottles, so I'm definitely gonna have to go to, to some brilliant art shop and I'm totally gonna have to have a go. I wonder what kind of things I could use. I wonder if I could use like um, color graph techniques and like press techniques to put some textures in there. I wonder if I could use different surfaces, but I, I definitely know I have to try that. Pull the acrylic and use the hairdryer, I just love how the colors mix together. It's almost like a tie-dye feeling. Actually, speaking of tie-dye, that's my next video. Hope you're tuning in. Whoa, that tie-dye was just so cool. I've actually attempted tie-dye a couple of weeks ago and I was really proud of the results. I found um, a black top just lying around in my house and I thought it's either going to be in the bin or I could do something cool with it. So what I did was I got a fork and I twisted it around and this black top got put into elastic bands and bobbles and whatever to go around it and some string. And I got some bleach and I bleached and bleached and bleached and literally within seconds it went bright yellow which was brilliant and I hung it out the window to dry and now I'm actually going to be taking it on holiday with me because it looks absolutely epic so tie-dye is so worth it you literally can do anything with it just screw it up you can put, uh, wrap it around with a fork you can put string around anything as long as you put string around that's the places that it won't be affected so tie-dye is definitely cool the next video I'm going to show you is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite things to do. I love pointillism. It's very, very time consuming, but it's so worth it when you see the end result. I know so many talented artists. Claude Monet was one of them with pointillism. Here, let's take a look now. Pointillism is such a beautiful form of art, honestly. I just love how millions of little dots can compose a picture. I suppose it's like pixels on a computer, really, you know, each little pixel matters, because just imagine one little white one and just suppose the whole picture. But it, honestly, I think it's such a talented way, and I must admit, it is one of my favourite forms. I've done a few examples of pointillism, and honestly, I just, I just fall in love with it. It's just so, it's so therapeutic. It's, it's, it's lovely. And Claude Monet definitely had the right idea, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've drawn flowers, vegetables. I've seen people draw people uh, with pointillism and the amount of time and effort I've gone in it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I wonder what we could look at next. Hmm, I think it's something abstract. Maybe sculptures? Hmm, let's have a look. Check it out. So my next video is based on learning difficulty. As you know, I have autism and it can be a living hell and it can make my life a little bit harder, but it also brings out the creative side in me. And I'm inspired by a particular artist called Chuck Close. Now he is a fantastic artist. He's paralyzed from the neck down and paints with his mouth. I think his work is beyond inspirational. It's abstract, but it's full of color. He paints diamond shapes and puts color in colour, he layers his colour 
and I remember doing um, a process of this in high school and I absolutely fell in love with it. I think it's beautiful how little pieces come together can make a total realistic picture. So I'm going to show you a quick video of Chuck Close. Check it out. I embarked on a career in the visual arts. Virtually everything I've done is influenced by my learning disabilities. I think I was driven to paint portraits, to commit images of friends and family to memory. I have face blindness, and once the face is flattened out, I can remember it much better. Inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us just show up and get to work. Every great idea I've ever had grew out of work itself. Sign on to a process. Well, isn't Chuck Close just so talented? It just proves that no matter what disability you have, you can still create the most beautiful and inspirational art out there, regardless if you are physically, mentally, or you struggle with life and disability is affecting your life. It just still proves you can set yourself goals and you can do anything no matter what. I often struggled with doing my art because I was bullied and I didn't believe in myself but once I did and I pushed the haters away I managed to achieve things that I could not believe and I pushed my disability aside and I've just looked over these videos people are painting with their thumbs using abstract methods creating the most fabulous piece of art and I'd like to end on a happy note saying that no matter what it comes in life, there's always good waiting for you and you should always believe in yourself. I'd like to show you one more piece of my art and then we'll evaluate what we've learned through all these pictures. Check it out. So, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Um, I'd just like to say a small piece before you go. So, my work is mainly to build up positivity and confidence um, within myself and also for other people. Not only when I do my art, I teach myself new methods and I love telling everybody like the advice and support that I can offer you through such a difficult time. And it is such an honor to be able to tell you everything. What I've learned through these videos myself is that nothing can stop you from being who you are and you can do absolutely anything if you put your heart to it. If you struggle, that's okay. That's a lesson in itself. Just keep on moving forward because that's art in itself. Don't forget to put the heart in art. I think what Chuck Close said about not letting his disability get in the way, and even though it makes him who he is, he makes the best art out of who he is and just using your fingers and anything to make the art that you want you do that but also remember as well i know lots of people are going through a very hard time right now 
I understand there's lots of anxieties with college, with universities, with high schools, primary schools, and for all those who are starting, please do not worry because this is a new chapter in your life and it's just something you should be super happy about. And don't forget that you believe in yourself and that you are stronger than you know. So this is Magical Flower Nerd saying that I have seen some super videos today. Thank you for all those who are watching. Please subscribe and please like and comment on this video. Also, I'd like to say thank you to all the artists that I have displayed on here today. You are so talented and just well done to you. And this is Lottie saying, Lottie loves you, baby. You know what to do. Comment below. Don't be afraid to comment for a chat. And thank you very much. You, you as an audience, are inspiring me to do my work. And please believe in yourself. I love you so much and you can do this. See you later and please stay safe.